right, so today, guys, we are going to work through the first page and the last page. The remaining two pages will be your homework, and we will grade it together on Monday. So when we want to talk about this, we're talking about exactly what we did yesterday that you guys completed on your My Math Lab. We're taking data that they give us, and we're going to create a frequency table based on our responses. So I've got all these little pieces of data over here, and I'm just going to go through and mark them off and then create a tick mark in my table. So I've got female sedan, so I do that, and then I hop on over to the female sedan, little tick mark, and then I'm going to continue going through and just making sure that I get every person accounted for and that I want to get an accurate representation of my data. So as I go through, I'm going to mark them off just to make sure that I have not duplicated any numbers or anything along those lines. And I can always double check myself at the end because these numbers should add up to the 20 total people that were indeed surveyed. Okay, so as we come through, get it going, we've got our sedan female, our truck male, and our sedan female. So we've got all our pieces in there, and now we're just going to put the actual number that represents it. So I've got two males that drove sedans, five females. The total that adds up to that is seven. Three SUV males, five SUV females, which is eight total. And then four male trucks, one female trucks, and of course that adds up to five. Seven plus eight is 15, plus five is 20. So our survey is accurate. We've got two, three, and four, so nine males, and then 11 females. Yeah. So a couple of us on the quiz, okay, we, for some reason, instead of getting 20, which is our people surveyed, we took the 20 that was here, and we added it to the 20 that was over here, and we ended up with 40. So guys, just remember that each column is its own total. So our bottom piece here is a total, and then our top piece, our column there is a total. So it's not 20 plus 20 to make 40, it's just 20 people that were surveyed. Now just like on your My Math Lab last night, you have this relative frequency table. What's that That's going to do is take our survey answers, and it's going to create a probability that each one happened relative to this specific survey. So it's not talking about everybody in America. We're just talking about this. Now, big companies can take surveys like this and make predictions, and it helps them determine when they want to advertise and stuff like that. But for this sake, we're just going to focus on the relative piece. So just like last night, you're going to take the total number that was in there. So I had two males that drove sedans. Can't write in highlighter, dummy. Two males that drove sedans. And I'm going to... Total that with the entire population. So 2 divided by 20 is 0.1 or 10%. Right? It's up to you. And you're going to keep going and doing that the whole way through. So 5 out of 20, which is 0.25. 3 out of 20, which is 0.15. 5 out of 20, which we just did is 0.25 and we got 4 out of 20 which is 0.2 and then finally 1 out of 20 which is 0.05 now a way you can check is our margins should still create the same percentage so I can check and make sure that these are going to add up to 0.45 and I can check that this should still add up to 0.55. And because it's probability, and I'm doing it based off this whole table, this guy right down here should always be 1. Because he is the probability of everything occurring. And then we've got our percentages at the bottom. So 0 0.35, 0 0.4, and 0.25. 
So we've now created our frequency table and our relative frequency, aka joint probability, just taking off that whole piece and then making sure that it's accounted for. So when we talk about our three types of frequency, we discussed them yesterday a little bit, but we had three types. We had joint frequency and a little helpful reminder for that is think of it like your elbow. It's where your two bones come together. So joint frequency would be where male and sedan come together. So if you think of a joint, think of your elbow <laughs> joint. We don't want to verify our apple right now. Appreciate that. Okay. Marginal. Okay. Marginal. Stop. Marginal is like the margins on a paper. Okay. Those are your outside columns. Those are the total of my row and my columns. And then our last one is the old conditional. Think of that like being on restriction. Okay? If they are putting restrictions on my sample space, I am talking about conditional. So that's where it, can, it restricts my sample space. I'm no longer talking about all 20 people. I'm just talking about males, or I'm just talking about people who drive SUVs. And the way to figure it out is going to be the wording. The wording is tricky, but if you pay attention to what we're talking about, it becomes easier to figure out. So, how many males drove SUVs? So, we go back up to our column up here, okay, and we, look, we go to are males that drove SUVs. And if you look in our in our row and column, right here in the middle, we get three. So we got three males that drove SUVs. What percentage of people? So here's where you're going to start to see that um, wording that's going to separate it. So when I look at that, when I see percentage of people, I'm going to use my relative frequency table and I've got to determine, are they talking about a specific restriction or are they talking about a, the total sample space? And if I'm talking about the percentage of people, I'm talking about all of the people that were involved. And if I look at my percentage of people that were female, that's going to be right. So I go to female over here. I get 0.55. Sorry, guys, I forgot that 5 in there. So that's 0.55. So the percentage of people, so my joint frequency is 0.55. If I want to change a decimal to a percentage, I just multiply that by 100. I figure out I've got 55%. Now the next question, what kind of frequency? Did I get it where two pieces meet at like an elbow joint? Did I get it on the outside edges of my table like the margins on a paper? Or was my sample space restricted? So because it came from the outside on this paper here that is going to be marginal frequency it's all based off of where did I find it marginal frequency our next one what percent of male drivers drove SUVs sorry too much highlight what percent of male drivers now, we're no longer talking about everybody in my survey. I'm only talking about male drivers. So what this has looked like for us the past couple of weeks is I want SUVs given they were male. So I am restricting my sample space to males, which is always my denominator. My given is always on the bottom. And I had nine males surveyed. And then of those nine males, three of them drove an SUV. And that becomes one-third, which we know is 33.3%. You could have also used your relative data, and you could have went 0.15 over 0.45, and it would have got you the same way. Same answer all around. Now when you come to what kind of frequency, 
because my sample space was restricted, we weren't talking about all 20 people, because they put a restriction on it, it is conditional. What percent of people were truck driving males and what kind of frequency is that? Okay, so are we talking about the whole population? Are we talking about just males? Are we talking about just truck drivers? Or what do we got going on? So percent of people, okay, percent of people means I want everybody. I want to know all the folks that were driving. I want to know that percentage of people were truck driving males. So I look at my answer, okay, so I'm talking about all of them. So I can go back up to my chart and I can use, I'm talking about the whole shebang here. Okay? And then in that whole shebang, I want truck driving males. Okay? I want males that drove trucks. I go back down. So I saw point 0.2 was on my chart, point 0.2. And to get to a percentage, you just multiply by 100. So 20%. Okay. And then what kind of frequency did we got? So because we got the data where male, let's see, I'll do a straight line for you guys, male and truck crossed, okay, we're talking about that is a joint <coughs> frequency. It's where the two meet, just like your elbow, your uh, humerus bone and your ulna. So that is a joint frequency. Okay, and our last one on the first page. What percentage of sedan drivers are female? Okay, so they want to know what percent of sedan drivers. So now we're not talking about everybody. We're only talking about female. So again, I can write it how I've been seeing it all week. I can say female. given sedan female given sedan so I look up there my sedan drivers my total is 0.35 and of those 0.35 people okay, 0.25 came from female you, of course, you could have gone back to the very top and got my joint, and there were seven people that drove a sedan, and of those seven, so you can say, or seven sedan drivers, and of those seven, five of them were female. Because either way, you're going to get the same answer, which is 71.4%. And because my sample space was restricted, my entire piece was, was condensed, we're talking conditional frequency. Okay, that's it for the first page. We'll make a second video for the second page.